Well, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, and I have to get the trailer ready for our trip. Um, before we go, I want to put new stabilizer jacks, and I want to put new tires uh, on it. Um, I realized that the old tires were cracking up a little bit, and I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to go ahead and get new tires. Let me go into the garage. Because it's, let me tell you, it's really, really cold. I discovered a few cracks on the tires and I am not taking any chances. I'm just going to go ahead and replace them. Those are the China bombs and <laughs> the one that came um, from the factory. And we already put three years, well, three and a little bit because we already took one trip this year. And I'm going to put Goodyear Endurance uh, tires. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. I couldn't find any shop in the area that would take uh, the trailer. So I'm gonna have to take the, the tires off two at a time, take them to the shop, uh, and yeah, get it done. So let's get this trailer ready, and after that, let's get driving, because it's gonna be a fun trip. Get there, what are we doing? We're gonna do it. Um, we're gonna boondock at Cracker Barrel. Who's excited about boondocking? Me! I'm excited because I can eat all their biscuits. I'm just I'm just excited about breakfast tomorrow. Hmm. The canned pancakes. <laughs> their biscuits are the best. I'm a pies. little I'm, to... I'm a little nervous about the cold weather and trusting the generator. And you're excited about bacon? Okay. Yes. Well, so sorry well. to be windy today, so we gotta be cautious and hopefully we'll get there soon. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Well, we just made our first stop for the gas. Family went inside to grab some something to eat. We were going to make pizza tonight in the RV, but um, kids got a little hungry. Meanwhile, I just got some gas. Put gas on the generator in case we need it tonight because <laughs> oh, it is really cold. So let me wait for the wife. Hopefully we'll be there shortly, just right after dark. So. We're making good timing. We're making good timing. Are you cold? Yes, I'm cold. I got a fire in me. You're gonna set to burn. So we made it to our destination. The trailer is right there. The family is getting cozy. We have the generator on pretty quiet. You, can, you cannot even hear it from here. But we have the generator going because it's freezing cold. We have the heater and the fireplace going. We are right between the Cracker Barrel and a Home Depot. Home Depot is somewhere back here, but um, ready for a nice little quiet night. Boondocking. This is exciting. We don't get to do this quite often. I know that Fawn is in thrill about this, but.
but I'm I'm liking it. I'm having a wonderful time. Hopefully I don't hopefully I don't make her life too miserable tonight. <laughs> How you doing, babe? I don't Come like the here. cold. If it were 75 but degrees. But we, we got the heater going. I would be okay. You have your fireplace going. What's the temperature outside? I don't know. Like it's 30. 37 degrees out. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I just wanted to pop in and record this quick snippet because I'm sure you're going to see a lot of footage of me being whiny and complaining about the cold. Um, I think I was very nervous that we weren't going to have heat all night and I was going to be miserable. Um, but I'm happy to report that we had a comfortable night. We had a great night. Uh, we made it through the whole night with heat. I was actually very comfortable and had a great time. And now we're about to go eat some Cracker Barrel, so it's going to get even better. So just wanted to, you know, let you know, because I'm sure you saw a lot of footage of me being whiny and complaining. So, all right, back to the video. Hey, everybody. A quick little parenthesis here to talk about this power station that we use. After I edited this video, Fawn suggested that I record this telling you about it because many of you have, may have questions. So we didn't run the generator all night. We only ran it for a couple hours to, to run the space heater, get the trailer nice and toasty. And then we switched to these. This is a EcoFlow Delta power station. I have been a little bit hesitant to talk about it in the channel for two reasons. The first one is really expensive. It's about twelve hundred dollars um, and I actually didn't get it for the RV originally I got this for work for my work purpose um, I am a documentary filmmaker and often I have to shoot interviews in the middle of nowhere um, when I am on the road shooting a documentary I can charge all of my electronic devices all of my cameras um, lights all of my uh, the drone, the cell phone, I can charge everything at once. The way I run it here in the RV, we could either connect a few things like the TV straight to it, but the way we did it this time, I just used a um, 110 adapter and I connected the entire RV, uh, a 30 amp to 110 adapter, and we brought the cable here through the window behind me so that the power station was inside the RV. There was no generator outside uh, that could be stolen, although you could put a chain on it, but all the power was being generated from the inside of the RV. Something I did as well is that I turned the breaker off for the, the water heater and the microwave and the fireplace. Although they were not turned on, I wanted to make sure that the, the power station wasn't being overworked. And in the morning, of course, uh, the power was gone. It was only like 7% left. So that's how we use it. We don't have fancy solar. We This is working just fine for our needs. So this is how we did it. For the RV police out there. You don't have to tell me about your fancy solar. You don't need to tell me about all the things that we are doing wrong. This is the way we did it and it worked for us. All right, back to the video. Hey guys, so we made it to our next campground. We can't wait to share this campground review with you. Stay it's gonna tuned. be good. It's gonna be really good. Yeah. 
this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and next week we will let you know all about Bucktail Campground. Yeah, I might leave you with a little teaser, right? Of what's to come next week. Okay. Thank you so much for coming with us. See you later. Now it's our turn. Down to the river, down to the river.